All right, so this is what we call the Barley Cathedral. This is where everything comes together. So we have all our single farm batches. This facility is purpose built to ensure we have the provenance of the barley. So basically at harvest time in Ireland and in the industry, not just Ireland, but everywhere in the world, when ha barley is harvested in July or August, yeah. it all comes to a facility like this. This is the Dalton's Chancellor's Mills. So when the barley is harvested, it all comes to a facility here and all the barley is mixed together. So you lose your transparency and your, your uh, traceability at that stage from the single farm. So what we asked Dennis and John Dalton, they are the brothers who own this facility, we wanted to keep single farms um, separate. We wanted to keep the transparency and uh, individuality of each single farm separate. So we asked them to build a warehouse just like you see here that would keep single farm batches separate. So basically what you have here, you have 100 ton batches in each of these farms. So what you have here is you have Andrew McDonnell, is the farmer's name, Laurieta was the variety, and this was the year of the harvest, 2021, okay? So we're still working off, even though it's 2023 now, we still have 2021 batches um, stored here. Now we're coming to the very end of this, in the next facility, called, which we call the chapel, which is next door to this, we have all our 2022 crop, which was last season. So how many tons of barley do you have stored in here right now? In right now, so I'd have to go through, so 100 ton batches in each individual bay, and I would say I have maybe 10, sorry, I have four or five 2021 crop batches left, and then I have our all our organic. So it has the capacity, this facility here has 28 bays. So by 100 ton, so 2,800 tons of, of uh, barley, what green barley can store here. Next door is a little bit smaller. It has 20 individual bays of 100 ton each, okay? So 2,000 two And ton. this is unprocessed barley? Just unprocessed, just green barley straight from harvest. Now, the reason it's kept here, so barley from the harvest can be stored under these conditions for up to two, three years, if it's stored correctly. So basically you have to, it goes through a dryer. So behind this facility here, there's a dryer. So the barley is cut at harvest. It goes, it comes at around harvest time. You could, moisture could be anything between 15% moisture up to 21, 22% moisture. So the barley needs to get, to be go through a drying process. And then it's the conveyor system here on the top and on the bottom. So it goes through the dryer and then the batch is directed into individual bays. So you would reduce the moisture down to below 10%. That means you can store it safely at, at a lower moisture. So under dry conditions, low moisture, then it's not gonna pick up any disease or, or any sort of infections during the storage. Mm -hmm. And that's why you can store it here up to two or three years. Um, so basically we have all these single bays. We also keep our seed in, these ba in, the, in this facility as well. So our heritage seed, our biodynamic seed, our organic seed, and some of our conventional seed is kept here for the next harvest. So we are now in April 2023. So what's happening now out in the farm is that the farmers are starting to sow the seed for this coming harvest. So I need to now empty these bays. Over the next six months, my priority now is to start emptying these bays. So the, each bay will be emptied. It'll go through malting, brewing and distillation, and that will allow enough room for the 2023 harvest to fill this vicinity. How do you keep them apart during the process of uh, malting, for example? Okay, so if I meet myself as the head brewer in the distillery, I would call a batch to be malted. Mm -hmm. So basically, a crane comes in here, lifts up these plinths here, lifts them up, and we would fill what's in here into lorries, and that's transported up to the malting process. Now. Our partner, Minch Malt, up in the Thai County Kildare, we are lucky that they have a small malting facility. So it allows us malt these batches in separate batches outside their main maltings. Because traditionally, your batches of malt are malted in thousands of tons of batches, massive batches but all from all the different farms. We're lucky Minch Malt, our partner, has a small maltings that caters for 100 tonne. So our model is based on their cap capacity, which is 100 tonne batches. So we take a 100 tonne from all our single farms and we store them in here until it's ready for the malting process. And then I model my brewing um, plan around um, 75 tonne of malt delivered. So I would do eight brews for every single farm. So 
I suggest you have to pay more for the malting than others would have to because of the small amount of... Yeah, we'd have to pay for the facility like this, so we'd have a storage fees for the storing um, individuals. Um, we have the agronomy fees on top of it and then the transport fees from the farm to here and here to the maltings. So it's a, it's a, a, a little bit extra for the conventional. Well, obviously we have to pay more for our organic barley and more again for our biodynamic and heritage barley because those batches tend to yield um, an awful lot less than your conventional barley. So we have to pay a premium to these growers to grow these batches for us.